What would have happened if Billy Mack had caught up with Billy Joe and Bobby Sue? The Texas detective would have arrested both for murdering a man while robbing his castle. Billy Joe pulled the trigger, and Bobby Sue just took the money and ran, but that did not make her any less guilty since she was an accomplice. Okay, don't roll your eyes at me. I didn't write the song. An accomplice is someone who aids or assists another person in the commission of a crime. Under law, an accomplice faces the same guilt and punishment as the person who commits the crime. In a similar sense, one who provides critical support toward accomplishing something good is also an accomplice and often deserves the same reward and recognition as others whose involvement may seem greater. That principle was set up by David as a fair and just treatment of some men who couldn't finish the run to recover their families from the Amalekite raiders. Because the chase was exhausting, about 200 men stopped and watched the baggage while the rest rushed on to rescue their families and property. 1 Samuel 30 verses 9 and 10 and verses 23 through 25. One of our struggles as humans is with the idea of justice and fairness. If someone offends us, we want justice perhaps even an extra layer of vengeance. But if we offend someone else, we think forgiveness or nominal punishment is fair. Or if we join with someone to accomplish something, a joint adventure, we tend to think our part was more important, so we deserve a greater reward. David ran into this when some of his men didn't want to share with the ones who stayed behind. The text calls those who didn't want to share the wicked and worthless men among those who went with David, 1 Samuel 30, verse 22. This is a warning to those of us who believe in capitalism. We must not sound or act like wicked and worthless men in our defense of the system. The ability to share equally with others reveals a lot about our character. How would you do in that test? However, this is not a call for societal equity as proposed by the social justice movement wherein everyone gets an equal share, even those who weren't involved. It is just as wicked to demand an equal share for those who do not participate at all. David's command was to share equally among all who participated. For as is his share is who goes down to the battle, so shall his share be who stays by the baggage. They shall share alike. 1 Samuel 30 verse 24. Anything shared with those who don't participate is a gift, not equality. And that's what makes God special. He offers all of us the gift of salvation. None of us participated in paying the price, except that all of us sinned and deserved the punishment that Jesus took for us. It isn't equity, because most will reject the gift. But it is equality in that it is offered to all equally. The question then is this, will you accept the gift God offers? Oh, I hope you will. Reach out to me if you want to know more about God's offer of salvation. Thanks for watching today's Morning Minutes in the Bible. Until tomorrow, this is James McClenney hoping you have a great day.